Good morning everyone. So welcome to the next tutorial in the JMeter series and today we'll be covering user defined variables. So the topics we're gonna touch today are how we can use user defined variable directly in test plan, using user defined variable config element and how a local variable overrides a global variable in a JMeter script. Right? So let's move to the JMeter directly. So I've opened the default view of JMeter with test plan and workbench. So for this testing purpose we need a HTTP request. So we'll take example of the same API that we used in the last tutorial that is the weather API. Weather API. Okay, so first of all, if you can see in the test plan window, there is an option that is inbuilt is user defined variables. We also have a config element user defined variable, but still there is an option that is inbuilt within a JMeter. So you can add a variable and also description, something like what does this variable does right okay so first let's talk about this so this plan user defined variable whatever I'm gonna put here any variable this will be used throughout the test plan whatever and any number of requests you have in your test plan this will be used throughout that for example if I add a thread group and add a sampler HTTP request. So for example I have to add all these values in HTTP request so any of this could be a variable. For example path. So if I talk about this API and if we use this uh, by city name Okay, so this is my server name and this is my path. Then I have port number, connect response, method, protocol, HTTP or HTTPS as required. So now path or maybe server name can also be variable which I can directly put here so that I don't have to add it again and again on every screen, right? So this solves one of my purpose that I don't have to rewrite my scripts every time. So for example, how we can do it out is go to test plan, add, add variable name as path, then copy the value from here and put it directly here okay so now you have added your path variable and define its value and you, so now you do not need to add anything out here you can just specify the variable path and it will directly pick the value from your test plan that is this variable path it will pick this value from test plan because we have already defined variable there okay so now I mean you can you can define any number of variables which you do not want to put again and again there okay so now we can add a listener out here three HTTP request and we have defined a variable called path in test plan. So the second thing that we're gonna cover in this tutorial is we also have a user defined variable config element that you can add in your thread group. That is user defined variables. So the question that comes out here is if we have direct option of adding user defined variables here 
So why do we need another config element? So the answer for this is there could be scenarios in which you want your local variable to override the global variable. So the variable that we have defined in the test plan is global. I'll rename it as G, right? And this variable specific to this thread group is local variable. A test plan may have multiple thread groups and whatever is defined in the test plan will be inherited by all the thread groups. But this local variable will not be inherited by another thread group because this is local to this one only. I hope it's clear. So now user defined variable. So I can add any variables out here which I need to use for this request and it'll, it will serve the same purpose that my user defined variable in test plan serves. So now if I add the same variable here path okay and copy any another path from here for example I what did I put here forecast so if I put this path uh, sorry copy from further so if I put this path out here overrides the global global user defined variable right so now this is the path which is different from the path I have specified here so logically my this local this global path should be overridden by this local variable I'll drag it up here now go to results tree and execute. Now you can see the request it has gone with the path data 2.5 slash weather whereas our user defined variable in the test plan had data 2.5 forecast which it has not taken because the local variable this path as overridden the path specified in the test plan so any number of variables can be specified here for example I can also copy the server name from here and add so what is the field here is server name or IP test plan go add so what name or IP and you can specify the value out here right so now remove it and execute right so the request is failing because I have not put the app ID which is needed for any API request I make to this weather API out here this needs an app ID so for demonstration purpose I haven't used this app ID because it is not needed my purpose was just to make sure that you guys understand what is local variable and what is global one so that is all for today thank you so much